dear students in this module we are going to talk about the hunting and gathering and pastoral societies uh, these are pre-industrial societies uh, based on very simple social organization uh, just uh, right from the beginning of human history starting from maybe uh, could be from uh, three million years ago until uh, 12,000 years ago uh, human beings have been mostly engaged in satisfying their basic needs, uh, including um, um, their food, shelter, and security. So uh, these societies uh, have been uh, characteristically very simple, not based on very complex division of labor, and uh, uh, they have mostly been engaged uh, for uh, their daily routine of collecting food and preparing their shelters to uh, to to satisfy their uh, need of security as well as of food. Uh, we can distinguish. We can define their uh, these societies based on two key characteristics. Uh, number one, just my uh, economic base. Uh, they have been. Uh, sustaining uh, based on uh, their uh, activity of hunting and gathering people have been mostly engaged uh, to go uh, to their surroundings to search or to find for food uh, usually the food have not been that much easily available or accessible because the technology was so complex that the human was so strong that it food ko preserve karna aata aur kyunki aaj hamare paas technology hai jiske madad se hum apne food ko preserve kar sakte hain to wahan pe rozmarra ke basis ke upar daily basis ke upar jo hai wo food collections hoti thi aur isi tarah se hunting ke andar log engaged hote the isi mein jo unki social organization banti thi jo structures bante the wo bade simple the divine of labor jo hai wo zyada tar gender based hoti thi uh, female have mostly been engaged in uh, collecting food as well as taking care of the children whereas males have been engaged in uh, the game and hunting and to collect uh, um, the uh, heavy items for the uh, and to build their shelters so um, with the uh, with this uh, uh, with this uh, objective in mind they have been less engaged uh, and other purposes uh, of life as we have uh, as we are observing today like uh, accumulation of wealth uh, as well as uh, having competition with each other for the gain uh, to gain those uh, available resources so uh, the communal life people have been uh, mostly uh, nomadic uh, in a way uh, they have been looking for the areas where uh, more food shelter security have been available so they were frequently shifting from one place to another place relatively less permanent settlements thing so substantial dependence was on to domesticate animals uh, for their survival janwaro se jo hai wo ek to saman jo tha wo lad ke ek jagah se dusri jagah le jane ka kaam liya jata tha dusra jo hai wo janwaro ko jo hai ऐसे सिचुएशंस के लिए भी डोमेस्टिकेट करके या उनको प्रिपेयर किया जाता था कि अगर फूड अवेलेबल नहीं है तो हंगामी हालात में उन जानवरों को फूड के तौर पे भी यूज किया जा सके तो कॉम्प्लेक्स सोशल सिस्टम्स नहीं थे लाइक अपर क्लास और एलिट क्लास सिस्टम दैट वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग टुडे एज वेल एज द सिस्टम्स बेस्ड ऑन क्लासेस तो देयर वर as societies uh, evolved from hunting and gathering to pastoral societies uh, a little bit division of labor uh, could have been seen where uh, the gender roles have been mostly differentiated and segregated in a way that uh, we can have a glimpse of uh, those segregated gender roles even in today's society examples can be given uh, like gujars uh, bakarwal of uh, north pakistan in gilgit azad jammu and kashmir uh, so we can see the examples of uh, uh, such societies in the image. Uh, 